Question number 10, Sumeroni. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by all of his answers to oral question number 12 on 9 August 2011? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, yes. Sumeroni. Parliamentary. Will the Prime Minister rule out funding cuts of up to 80 per cent for home-based early childhood education proposed by the government-appointed ECE task force, as he did for Play Centre recently? If not, why not? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, the Government is in the process of digesting all of the information from the ECE task force, but it's fair to say we won't be accepting all of it. Uh, Kelvin Davis. Will the Prime Minister rule out funding cuts? of up to 78 per cent for Kohanga Reo, proposed by the government-appointed ECE task force, as he did for Play Centre recently. If not, why not? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, as I said, the government's in the process of digesting all of the ECE task force recommendations, uh, but I wouldn't read anything into that report. Sumeroni. This point of order, oh, Mr point Speaker. of order, Sumeroni. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister has been asked two very specific questions now about ruling out funding cuts. Um, from recommendations made by an ECE task force, and he has failed to rule out those funding cuts. Water, water. I think water. We've had this issue raised before, and the member will recollect that it's difficult for me to insist a minister give a different answer if, in fact, the government hasn't made decisions in relation in relation to a task force report. And if I heard the prime minister correctly, I think he said the government was digesting the recommendations and and hadn't made any final decisions. Was un I think he went on to add some views about some things being unlikely, I think. But uh, I, can't, I can't insist on anything more precise than that at this stage. Sumeroni. Will the Prime Minister give a commitment then to the existing rate of subsidy for 20 hours ECE for all the children to whom it currently applies in light of the government-appointed ECE task force's proposal to cut it by up to $50 per child per week? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. In terms of, as I said last week, we support the 20 hours. Uh, we're just considering the ECE task force. I'm not anticipating major changes, actually. Point of order, Sumeroni. Uh, just a point of clarification. Was the Prime Minister no, no, saying order, yes, a commitment? Order, order. There's no such thing. I know either a point of order, the member wishes to raise a matter to do with order of the House, but there's no such thing as a point of clarification. The uh, member can ask further supplementary if she wishes, though. Uh, question number 11, Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question.